Assalamu alaikum everyone So I am back with another video And this time it is on uh, Alcohols This is another homologous series Alcohols Ok, its general formula is CN H2N plus 1 OH Ok, and its functional group is The presence of the OH group They can be 1, 2 or 3 or 4 They can be multiple OH groups Ok on a single molecule so that identifies those molecules to be alcohols and all the alcohols have the suffix ol at the end ok for example methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol ok now if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 we have methanol if n is equal to 1 uh, C1H21 are 2 plus 1 3 it would be CH3OH and its structural formula would be CH3 CH3OH and its name would be methanol methanol when n is equal to 2 uh, C2 H2 to the 4 plus 1 5 C2H5OH C2H5OH so basically, now the difference between an alkane and an alcohol is that instead of one hydrogen, there is a OH group. So when while one carbon atom uh, alkane was methane for CH4, so you remove one hydrogen, you add one OH, so you get what an uh, alcohol. So C2H5OH, its structure would be something like this: C2H5OH. So its name would be ethanol. Uh, if n is equal to three, molecular formula would be C3H7OH. It would be CCC. Its name would be propanol. Propanol. HHHN propanol. Let's name it propanol. So methanol, ethanol, propanol and the same way you will also, can also make butanol, pentanol, hexanol, heptanol and so on. Now let's talk about their properties but before that we'll just talk about their preparation. Preparation of alcohols. They are prepared by two ways. One is by fermentation and the other one by addition of steam. Preparation of alcohols. One way of preparing alcohol is fermentation it is a non-industrial way of preparing alcohol fermentation and the other one is the addition of the addition of steam we also did this one this reaction in alkenes and i told you that this reaction would appear in preparation of alcohols so what is fermentation fermentation is pretty simple you take glucose and you in, 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 in an enclosed container, you take glucose, which can be obtained from uh, sugarcane or grapes, or most likely it's, it can be obtained from sugarcane, that is cheaper. Okay, you, you place it in an enclosed container and then you add, then you add an enzyme that is, and you add an enzyme that is yeast as a catalyst, and its temperature is kept between 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, it is container of something like this and it is a container something like this okay which is enclosed such that there is only a NRV non-return valve okay such that that gas can only be released but nothing can enter into the container only there is there is an allowance for the gas uh, to be released so that there is no gas built up because as a result of this reaction not only ethanol is formed but carbon dioxide is released in there. So we want to release that carbon dioxide. That is non-industrial way of preparing ethanol. Okay. This is primarily, this is not even preparation of alcohol. These two methods are used primarily for, uh, for manufacturing of ethanol. Okay. Ethanol is only a type of alcohol. Okay. It's one type of alcohol. Fermentation. So this is how fermentation uh, carries out. And not going into the details. Because uh, these are supposed to be revision lessons and these are supposed to be quick revision lessons so that you guys can prepare for your exams. 
uh, and you don't even de you don't even need detail more than that. Fermentation is just that you you ferment something in the presence of a my of a biological catalyst like yeast. Okay, and as a result, you have alcohol and carbon dioxide. This is a method that is used at homes to prepare alcohols because uh, not alcohols prepare ethanol. Ethanol is the only alcohol which can be used as a beverage. Okay, so that's why that is basically the main reason behind uh, using this method at home because ethanol is used as a beverage in many European countries. In Islamic countries, obviously, it is banned, but in uh, European countries, in the US and the UK, uh, it is extensively used. Okay. Uh, the other method is addition of steam. So you take ethene and you add steam into it. Okay. Or you can also say that it's addition of water in the presence of a catalyst that is phosphoric acid, and the temperature is, and the temperature would be around. Uh, 300 degrees Celsius and you'll have ethanol C2H5OH okay if you take propane then propanol will be formed if you take butane then butanol will be formed if you take pentene pentanol will be formed okay so this this is the these are the two methods which are used to prepare ethanol okay you must be uh, there's another use of ethanol and that is as a fuel Ethanol can also be used in fuels and it can also be used as a solvent. Okay, this method is commercial method of preparing ethanol, commercial or industrial, you can say. And fermentation is non industrial method. Just remember that that is non industrial method. Non industrial method. Needless to say that this is a renewable method of preparing alcohol, this is non renewable because this is being produced from glucose which is a renewable raw material. You can simply harvest, you can simply cultivate more sugar cane to get more glucose. So moving on to the reaction, the first reaction they undergo is combustion reaction. Again take any, I am taking propanol, react it with oxygen and it will form carbon dioxide and water. This balance of the equation. There are three carbons on the left, there are three carbons on the right. There are seven plus one, eight hydrogens on the left, eight hydrogens on the right. There are six plus four, ten oxygens on the right. So I made so ten oxygens on the right, one is here, there are three oxygens on the left. So how would I make it? Uh, ten, I'll multiply this by nine over two. So these oxygens become nine plus one, ten. Okay, let me just write it properly so that you don't get confused. Uh, okay, I will use an orange. Okay, nine over two, O two. So ten oxygens on the left hand side. This is combustion reaction. It undergoes another reaction that is oxidation reaction. What is the oxidation reaction? Oxidation reaction means simple that oxygen is being added into the uh, alcohol. I don't confuse it with combustion because in combustion oxygen uh, is being used, uh, you know, in a burning reaction. For example, in combustion, a compound is being burnt in the presence of oxygen. While in oxidation, oxygen is just being added. Okay, it's just reacting. It's not a burning process. Okay, nothing is being burnt per se. Oxidation uh, can uh, take place by two ways. One is by air, and by another by using oxidizing agents. These oxidizing agents can be potassium dichromate. Oxidizing agents. These oxidizing agents can be potassium dichromate or potassium manganate. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So it's pretty simple. You take ethanol. You take ethanol. Well, reacted with oxygen, reacted with oxygen, <coughs> and carboxylic acid is formed. So when ethanol is reacting with oxygen, or when ethanol is getting oxidized, ethanoic acid is formed. This is called ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Okay, and uh, there's water formed as well. So if 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 
propanol was getting oxidized then propanoic acid will be formed if butanol was getting oxidized butanoic acid will be formed so this is the oxidation reaction uh, actually these are the all reactions that I'll cause undergo it's, it's a relatively small chapter uh, I'm going to discuss its past papers now let's do a couple of questions uh, before finishing off with this video okay so question number one which statements about alcohols are correct all alkyl alcohols contain the hydroxide ion no alcohol contains the OH group it's different than the hydroxide ion don't confuse it with hydroxide ion it's not correct ethanol can be formed from ethene that is true using a reaction catalyzed by yeast no uh, when you're using yeast to prepare ethanol you are actually doing fermentation and you use glucose you are not using ethene you use ethene uh, in the presence of H3PO4 as a catalyst so that is incorrect as well methanol can be oxidized to methanoic acid that is true uh, alcohol X and Y shown are isomers are they? Uh, they are not chain isomers because the chains are not disturbed but they definitely are position isomers because OH group is attached on the second carbon atom here and on the first carbon atom here so uh, they are isomers they have different positions ok so the answer would be uh, 3 and 4 which alcohol on oxidation will produce this? This is a 1, 2, 3 carbon atom carboxylic acid. So obviously uh, a 3 carbon atom alcohol will produce a 3 carbon atom carboxylic acid. So this is a 3 carbon atom alcohol. The answer would be C. The structural formula of some organic compounds are shown below. Which compounds are alcohols? 1 is an alcohol, it has the OH group. 2 is an alcohol, it has the OH group. Uh, 3 is an alcohol, it has 2 OH groups and this is not an alcohol, so 1, 2 and 3 moving on uh, ok, which information is correct regarding the formation of ethanol by the process of fermentation which gases evolved? carbon dioxide, so the answer can be A or C and what substance was fermented? we were fermented, we were fermenting glucose which is a carbohydrate uh, those who take bio must know that carbohydrates, glucose or sugars are carbohydrates. Okay. The boiling points of the alcohols increase as their molecular mass increases. Which alcohol has the highest boiling point? That alcohol which has the most carbon atoms. So that is in this case is butanol, 4 carbon atoms. The list shows 3 chemical reactions, uh, combustion of ethanol, fermentation of glucose and reaction of ethanol with ethanoic acid. To give an ester, we haven't done this. Uh, uh, we'll do this once we are done with carboxylic acid. Mm -hmm. Which substances will burn in air to give carbon dioxide among the combustion products? Calcium carbonate do not burn in air uh, to uh, give carbon dioxide. It does give carbon dioxide, but it doesn't burn in air. It is broken down into carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. So ethane can produce combustion product, ethanol will produce, methanol will produce. So answer would be 2, 3 and 4. An organic compound has an empirical formula C2H4O. You need to know carboxylic acid before doing this question. The statement about ethanol is correct. It is an unsaturated compound. No, it doesn't have a double bond. It is formed by catalytic addition of steam to ethane. That is correct. You add, you add, it is the addition of steam to ethane. Catalytic addition means you are adding something in the presence of a catalyst. What did you add? You added steam in the presence of H3PO4 as a catalyst. So B would be correct. So alcohol can be oxidized to form another homologous series of compounds. What would be the product of the oxidation of propanol? Propanol will produce propanoic acid. If you don't know how to identify propanoic acid, it's pretty simple. It's prop, right? So, uh, 3 carbon atom alcohol will form 3 carbon atom carboxylic acid. So, uh, so you need, but you need to know what is the functional group of carboxylic acid, so you cannot do this. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, a color change from orange to green is observed if ethanol is present. Okay, what is what is ethanol? If there is a change of color from orange to green, if this filter paper uh, is moistened with potassium dichromate. If it's changing from orange to green, this is 
oxidizing agent which means it is getting reduced if it is getting reduced which means that there is an oxidizing agent present so ethanol has to be an oxidizing agent which compound is obtained by the oxidation of ethanol ethanoic acid so two carbon atom uh, uh, carboxylic acid would be 1 2 3 1 2 so this okay so that's all from this chapter inshallah i'll see you uh, in another video which will be about carboxylic acids stay tuned for that video because carboxylic acids are an important component of organic chemistry until then take care Allah Hafiz